All right, when I say, uh, hey, it's time to take the SATs, it makes mm. my s stomach hurt. I remember that morning. I was, had my pencil, and I was just so nervous. I was like, it all depends on this, yeah. all of it, where I'm going to go, where my future, normally, on how well I do in this couple of hours. Normally Saturday mornings, right? Saturday you're mornings. You're go back to your school, mm -hmm. freaking out. We're going to give you a certain amount of time. Ah! And there's a meme out there that likens the process to the Hunger Games. May the odds be ever in your favor. Oh, God. Which is so true. Sarah Harberson, uh, CEO and founder of Application Nation. What a great name. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sarah. Hi. It's good to have you. It's good to be here, Mike and Alex. Yes, we're glad to have you. You're warming us up with that fireplace behind you, so thank you for that. It's probably fake. <laughs> <laughs> it looks nice. <laughs> Sarah, how are, first of all, why do we need this? Just because of what Alex and I just talked about, the stress level? Oh my gosh, you know, the college board that oversees the SAT is uh, going to be unveiling this new test and I think they had to make some changes, but it's still unclear what those changes are going to be all about. We know that it's going to be digital, so no more test booklet or filling in bubbles like we did, generations of students did. It's going to be digital, it's going to be a shorter test, and we know it's supposed to be adaptive, meaning that the test will adapt or change depending on the student's responses or answers. So no student should have the same test. And when you say it's going to be digital, does that mean that you can just take it from the comfort of your home, or will you still have to go to a specified location and have the proctor or the person walking around and looking at folks? I wish, Alex, we could take it from um, our homes, but no, students will be taking them at test centers with devices, yeah, a high school, center. college board approved or student approved device. So okay. still in your local high schools for the most part. Mm -hmm. When's it going to kick in? When do we start this? We will see the new SAT unveiled in 2024. So that means those high school freshmen, the class of 2025, that class will be the first class applying to college with the new SAT. Okay. okay. And it's also shortened. So how short will this one be? And are the different sections shortened too, or is just the overall time you have? We know that the overall time will be about two hours. That's an hour less than the current SAT. The current SAT right now is a little over three hours. So being a shorter test hopefully will be a more approachable test, but we still don't know the contents of the test. And there's been so much criticism about SATs being inherently biased against students of color, students coming from underrepresented backgrounds. So we have a lot to wait and see when it comes to this new test. We're hopeful, but it may be too little too late. So the College Board is throwing a Hail Mary and creating this new test. But at this point, most colleges are still test optional. I was just so about to bring that up. Uh -huh. What yeah. is it, more than 1,000, more than 1,800 have just said, hey, we don't really need the test. Yeah, you know, once the pandemic hit, most colleges adopted a test optional policy, and they are continuing to have that test optional yeah. policy. So students are asking, do I need to even need to take the SAT or ACT? And that is a big question that I'm getting asked by families on a daily basis. I think this new test is going to lead some students to think they don't need to take the test at all, and that's possible, especially if they have a college list full of test optional colleges. Some students will end up taking the old SAT, maybe sooner than they should, and then that ACT, the SAT's competitor, that probably will be a popular test starting mm -hmm. for that class of 2025. So really quickly then, because you... Is your recommendation then that you, you do take it? Because if, if you're not taking the test, then what are they just off your grades and your extracurriculars or your essay? You know, we've got to wait and see how the story evolves, but I will always encourage students to focus all of their attention right now on those classes and the grades they're getting mm, because yeah. the high school transcript has always been the most important part of the admissions process. And with these test optional policies in place, that transcript is going to matter even more. Yeah. Sarah, thanks. It's great to be here. Good to see you, Mike and Alex. Right, good, good to see, to see you, you too. My goodness.